Never buy these handbags full price. Welcome back to Hilo Lux, where luxury and style are attainable. We have a fun video today. We are talking about handbags I would never, ever, ever buy full price from the boutique. We are only buying these pre-loved. I have a list, I have my notes right here, um, of around, I think, 10 handbags that, for all different reasons, so I'm gonna go through all of them, um, I would only buy these pre-loved. If you're new here, pre-loved is just used, secondhand, um, and I'm gonna share like some of my favorite sites some of these handbags I have, so I'll go through those, and then some I don't, so I'll just pop up pictures. So, I hope this is helpful. Um, leave any questions, of course, below. I love talking handbags, obviously, um, but I buy both new and old, and I always get questions on how do you choose which way to go. Um, so, these are my thoughts. So, without any more rambling, let's get into the video. Oh, and before we get started, my hat is from Lack of Colors. I'll link it below if it's still available. And my dress, this is a dress, um, is from Zimmerman. Um, it's super cute and I just wanted to be free because I'm going to be like grabbing the bag. So that's that. So let's start with the first bag. Um, this is one of my favorites. Um, it is the Valentino Rockstud Spike. Some people say this bag is out. Some people say it's in. Um, it's a classic for Valentino. They come out with it every season in different colors and they also have recently come out with a new version which is the roman spike studs um which are just like super big they're just like giant studs on the bag um i still prefer the old version and i have two two that we'll get into okay so currently <laughs> my notes uh currently the valentino rock stud spike is between 950 and 1400 on average um and this is just like the regular size um, and full price right now, if you go on like any department store site, is $29.80 and this is all USD. Um, so that's a huge difference, right? And I'll show you the two I have that I absolutely love. Um, both of mine are the kind of like medium size. I have one in denim and one in leather. Um, and I absolutely love this bag i think it's super cool it's edgy it's special it can even be girly depending on the color this one's a little more edgy and then this one i just wanted a denim bag for summer and i love the style it comes with a top handle it also comes with like this little chain strap i tuck mine in because it's annoying to me but if you like crossbodies it does come with the strap to do that i bought both of these on uh, fashion file and i want to go over the prices as well because i think of course, that'd be super helpful. I'll pop it up on the screen what I'm looking at. Um, the black leather one with the writing is the Valentino Lambskin VLT Imprint Medium Rock Stud Spike Shoulder Bag. And I paid $14.35. So again, brand new from the boutique. This bag is $29.80. Quite a deal, right? And then for the denim one, I'll pop this up on the screen also. I paid $13.50. So again, you get the same look and feel. Now, if you're really just pressed to have the jumbo studs, the newer version, um, I'm pretty sure you can find that pre-loved too. I didn't look, honestly, because these are the two I have that I prefer and recommend, um, but it's such a good deal. And I feel like for these, the only reason you would buy it full price is maybe there's a colorway that you can't find pre-loved, but again, I just feel like for that bag, if you like the style, you can come up <laughs> on something that's special enough and it's kind of like justifies getting it. So I've had that bag in um, pink velvet. I think that was the first version I had. Let me see if I got that from Fashion File too. Let me, that was an oldie, let's see. So I had the suede medium pink version from Fashion File and I paid 11.60 for that. And this was like at the height of that bag, like being popular. This was November 17th, 2018. So, pre-loved for sure and another reason for this one specifically as you can see they don't hold their value so I feel really comfortable buying these bags pre-loved because I also know I can resell them when I get tired of it or I want a new colorway or I just want something fresher or another color I'm more into and I don't have to worry about losing out on my money um I'm pretty sure I sold that bag back to fashion file and I probably lost like a hundred or two hundred bucks but I had worn it for like almost a year or you know close to a year so but if i would have paid almost three thousand dollars from the store that would have took a huge loss because i think they took it back for like nine hundred dollars and i paid 
$1,100. So that is our first bag I would never buy new from the store is the Valentino Rockstead Spike bag. Moving on. <laughs> the next bag, oh, this is a good one. Um, oh, let me put the bags back. Let's, let's try to stay organized because it can spiral in here and get out of control very quickly. Okay. Okay, next up, a bag I would never pay full price for is the Lady Dior. Um, the pre-loved price, and this varies with size, is between $1,500 and $3,000. And in store, these range from, <laughs> it's laughable just looking at it. These range from $4,700 to $6,500. Girl, now here's the thing. As you can see, I recently got a Dior bag. That's not what we're talking about. But I do love the brand. I think Dior has some of the best customer service. I think they make it an experience. I think they have beautiful things. But the price points are a bit much. They're a bit much. So a Lady Dior is a classic bag. Again, it's been around for years. It's never gonna go out of style. There's all different sizes. They've come out with all these cool, you know, new features and little, you know, trinkets and straps. And they do a great job of all that. But I'm not paying six thousand dollars six thousand five hundred dollars for lady dior now i do have a lady dior i have this one from fashion file it has the acrylic candles it's silver it's satin so that saves some money because it's not leather um and let's look on fashion file and see how much i paid for that one let's see okay <laughs> i paid 805 dollars for that bag from fashion file $800 um it didn't come with a strap but when I had my other one the coral one I hated the strap it was just always in the way I just I like top handles so I was like not that pressed to have the strap anyway um let me see if the coral one is in here too that I had that was like one of my first purchases from fashion file let's see oh here it is so pretty this was um yeah it was in a coral color it's stunning and it was in great condition. I think it had a little wear and tear like on the handles and maybe a tiny bit of corner wear, but it was really, really pretty. I'll take a screenshot of this too. Um, and I paid $15.75 for that bag. Um, that was in 2018, so keep that in mind as well. But you see the difference? You see, you see the price points? Hopefully I'm putting the prices bold on the screen because again, $1,500, obviously my prices are gonna be a little less because these were a few years ago so obviously with inflation prices go up price increases all that jazz um but the bottom the starting price point is around 1500 right now for this bag and in the store it starts at 4700 like never i would never <laughs> ever ever buy a lady dior now that bag you might be asking when well, you bought that new from the store but that is a newer style and honestly looking on the pre-loved market it wasn't much cheaper so i'm not gonna buy a secondhand bag to say 200 or 300 bucks i'd rather go in the store have some champagne get my box wrapped up get a bow have a water have the experience enjoy a day out of shopping for like 200 bucks but a thousand two thousand three thousand <laughs> they can keep that experience okay moving on um, next up is, okay, I said the other bag was my favorite, but this is my like all time favorite, is the Balenciaga City bag. Y'all know how I feel about that bag. You know how I feel about her, I love her. This was the only bag I even knew of as far as luxury bags and wanted like in high school and college. This was like when the Hills was out and like I feel like every person in a magazine had the Balenciaga City bag. Again, some people <laughs> say it's not in. It is currently coming back. So this is another reason if you're, if you were remotely interested, hop on it now. Um, they, I believe are discontinuing the older style, which I have, so I'll show you. Um, but they've recently come out with a new version that's very similar. Um, they just like tweak the shape a bit, a bit. And for the price point, I, I don't think it's that deep. I rather, I would rather just get it pre-loved. Um, so right now you can get a Balenciaga city bag starting at $400 um and goes up to like twelve hundred dollars pre-loved on the website they start at fifteen hundred and go up to three thousand girl 
Okay, so let me show you what I have. Now I'm making this video because I also want to help you because I have made these mistakes before. So, my very first, I'm sure some of you have heard the story before, but my very first Balenciaga City bag, this is the metallic edge. So as you can see, it like has really like, um, kind of like thick hardware that goes around it. I bought this from the store. <laughs> Full price. <laughs> yeah, huge mistake. Big, big mistake. Um, this was back in 2017. I had just became a store manager at Target. I got my first bonus and I didn't know anything about bags. I didn't even know there was a thing called pre-love. So I just walked into, it was either Saks or Neiman's and I was like, I'm buying a bag, damn it. <laughs> and I bought this full price. I'm pretty sure it was, 2500 something like that I still love it of course I still have it it's still my she's still bae I would never get rid of this but um you may have seen in a thread up video I bought this in like a purple color I think it was $500 <laughs> on thread up I recently I gave it to my friend actually because I just don't wear purple it never went with anything but now I have it in green let's see I recently got the mini in green. Oh my God, look at that color. Ooh, ooh. Um, I got this from ThreadUp and this was $600. I've also had this in gold that I got from, let's see. Oh my God, that looks so cute together. Okay. I got it in gold from, okay, I can't find the gold, but I just realized I also had this bag in rose, which was also like a lavender, but in the small in this size. So I've had many iterations of this bag because I love it that much. But also buying it pre-loved just gives you so much more flexibility. You don't feel as bad if you wanna sell it. You don't have to worry about losing so much money. I got the rose color for $650. <laughs> and I would think I sold it for like 600 when it was time to sell it. Never, ever, I'm very passionate about this. Never, not that it's not worth it, not an amazing bag. Like the, the more you use it, the better it gets. You can do the crossbody. It's just a cool, easy, edgy bag. I love it so much, but I would never in a million years, again, buy it full price. So the only reason you would buy this full price is again, if you just are really pressed about a certain color, maybe it's a new season color or a detail, like this doesn't have the metallic edge like that gray one does. That was like a special thing. They don't do that anymore. So again, if something comes out where it's just like, you cannot get that detail in any other bag, it's a cool strap or you like, like the graffiti style they came out with. If it's worth an extra thousand dollars, an extra $1,500 to you, you go off this. But for me, I'm gonna stick to the free loved one. Okay, look at us, we are, we are cleaning as we go. Okay, next bag, oh man, we're only three in, <laughs> so many more. Okay, next bag is the Fendi Peekaboo. I absolutely adore this bag. They've come out with several iterations of this bag as well. I have the Fendi Peekaboo, I think it's the mini or small, um, with the whip stitching, so I'll pull that really quick. Um, but these start on the pre-loved market, $1,500 to $2,000. In the store, a medium peekaboo is $5,000. Now, here's the thing. Fendi has amazing quality, supple leathers. I totally get why the price is the price. However, the bags are super understated, subtle. I know we're paying for quality, but we're also paying for the name, and I just don't think it's justified for $5,000. So. This is my Fendi. Oh my God, I love it so much. This is my Fendi Peekaboo. Um, the whip stitching was very important to me. So that's another thing with pre-loved. Also, it's like, how patient do you want to be? I wanted this bag for like a year and a half, but I really wanted the whip stitching. So I was like on the hunt. I actually bought this from Rebag. This, is the, th this was my only purchase from them, but this was the only place I could find it. I wasn't specific on the color. Mainly this was the... This detail was more important to me than the color. And I've had it for a few years now. And I wanna say, I don't have a profile with them, so I can't look up the exact price, but I wanna say I paid around 1700. So still like more than the other bags as far as it being pre-loved, but it was in great condition. And again, it's amazing, amazing quality. Um, but it's better than 5,000. So yeah, 
I definitely say if you are into Fendi bags, look on the pre-loved market because there's just so many and again very much like the lady dior these just do not hold their value so you're paying this really steep price for something that you can't resell right it's one thing if i pay five six seven thousand for a chanel bag i can sell that tomorrow and get all my money back and maybe a little more this year you'll be lucky if you get half half of your money back so okay next up we're gonna move a little faster now Next up, oh, I love this bag too. I, I mean, I love all these bags. Um, next up, the Celine box bag. This is, again, this is a staple. This is a forever piece. It's one of Celine's classics. Um, and it ranges pre-loved 1,500 to three to 3,000. Now this bag is still quite expensive pre-loved, so just FYI. But in store, it starts at 39.50. So 4,000, I remember going, and it, go, it goes up from there. Um, I remember I really wanted the um, like, deep brown cognac kind of color. Um, but I, I wanna say that was 45, or maybe just right at four in the store. And I was just like, absolutely not. This bag is too simple. For me, I was not gonna get enough use out of it. I don't wear, it doesn't have a top handle and I'm not a huge crossbody person, but I appreciate the bag and I like the style and I want it in my collection. But for that price, I just cannot. So I've had this bag in gray and now I have it in orange and I, let's see what I paid for it. Let me grab it. I absolutely love the orange. I sold the gray um, because I just never wore it. Um, it's not a color I wear a ton, even though I do like to wear black a lot. Um, but I also, when I would wear it, I would want a top handle. So I wanted to give it in just a more of a fun, co fun color. Um, but to be honest, since I've had this, I still don't wear it. I thought it was a color thing, but I think it's just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Let me know what you think. I still love the bag. Like, I love this bag. I think it is so classic and just like timeless. But I've probably worn it like twice since I've had it. But anywho, on to the price. Um, let's see, this is fairly new. So let's scroll up. I paid $17.85 from Fashion File for this. And I could sell it back to them for $12.50. So I think they give you like six months to like try it out. And if you don't love it, past the, I think you have 30 days to return it for all your money but then if you just think you want to resell it they make it kind of easy if you don't want to sell it on your own you can sell it back to them and they'll just sell it again um but yeah 1785 but again if I walked in the store right now this would be four thousand dollars so if you're thinking about it I feel like there are a ton of these on the pre-love market Celine box bag <laughs> also still not sure if I should keep it but we'll see We'll think on it, we'll think on it. I feel like maybe in the fall with like browns, it might be a vibe. Okay, next up, one of my, another one of my favorite bags is the Loewe puzzle bag. I would never, ever, ever buy this full price from the boutique, from online, from a department store. Um, they are pre-loved around 1,500 to 2,500. In the store, they start at 2,900. But the pre-loved market is so saturated with these bags that it just doesn't make sense to buy it full price. Unless, again, you are very particular about the colorway you want. There's a new version because they come out with this season after season in new cool colors, new cool trim and stitching. So if you're super particular about that and you want what you want, that's a reason to buy it full price. But I have found gems. Those are, these are my most unique bags. They're so special. And I've never been looking for it specifically. I just look, I just look puzzle and I just look and I, there's so many gems. Like I still find gems and I'm like, Janae, you cannot buy another puzzle bag. So I just highly recommend the secondhand market. So let me go through my puzzle bags. I have four. So do I have an obsessive personality? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> These are all from Fashion Files. So I'll go through them really quick and then share the prices. <laughs> so this one I is my newest one. I absolutely adore it and I've wanted it for a long time. So that's where the that patience comes in at. Um, I've wanted this for like a year. The first person I saw with this was um, Tamara Kalanick. Kalanick? She's a blogger. Um, but every fall she would wear this bag with like a brown coat and I was like, God, I don't want that bag. But again, it was old so you couldn't find it. Finally, uh, one day I saw it on Fashion File. And I paid, 
let's see. I paid $19.95. So I feel like I paid a premium because this is literally like, I'm sure you can, you'll be able to tell when I show you the other bags, but like this is practically brand new. Um, like it seems like it wasn't worn at all. Like at all, it, it feels weird. Cause some of the, the rest of them are all kind of like slouchy. You can tell they've been like worn. This looks brand new. So I definitely paid a premium. But again, I saved around, what, $900? Because it's $2,900 um, brand new from the store. So that's the first one. I'm gonna put these back, don't worry. This I bought last summer. I absolutely love it. Look how special it is. It's just, oh, it just brings me so much joy. So cute. I got this one from Fashion File as well. This was my first one. And I wanted a puzzle bag for a while, but I just was like, they're just so simple. I just don't get it until I saw this one. Like every time I see someone with it, I was like, that's a cool bag, but it's not the one for me. The plain one's not the one for me. And then I saw this, I said, she's the one. She's the one, I just wear it with simple things, all black, all white, or just a monochrome look, all blue. Oh my God, so good. And this one I paid, let's see, that was a while ago. That was, I bought this one last summer from Fashion File, of course. At the end of this video, I also go through um, all of the places to shop pre-loved and kind of like why I shop um, Fashion File over others. I am not sponsored by them. I really should be, but here we are. I paid $13.50. I paid $13.50 for this bag. Is that not a, and, and when I tell you the quality is amazing. The Weve products in general, like I have that OB belt, the quality supple a1 the next one is the one i wear the least and i'm on the fence about if i should sell it or not i know i should but i don't know um is this one. Oh my god with this outfit okay i'm not selling it <laughs> i'm not selling it this is the large so the other two are mediums this is the large and it's like this raffia and i saw beyonce with this and lord i was influenced I mean, really, it wasn't me. Like, I saw her with it, and I just happened to go on Fashion File, and it was there. It was there. And it was a hell of a steal. Let's see. This, you're gonna die. <laughs> this was $1,100. $1,185. I bought it November 25th, 2020. $1,185. As opposed to... 2900 in store and this will probably be even more i looked up the prices of medium so the large would be even more full price and i got it for 11.85 okay and then lastly the probably the one i wear the most is this one i love a mini i love a mini this is the mini or nano i'm not sure it does come with a long strap as well i just don't ever wear that wear it that way so i took it off i love 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 this one this is my second one and I got it for $11.95, so the same price as the large. But still, this is probably like the least good deal because I didn't check the prices for Nanos, but I love it, she's so cute. Okay, moving on. The next bag I do not have, and that is what I'm considering. <laughs> and that is the Bottega Hobo bag. So I'll put up a picture here um, of the new version. And it, Let's see, the new version is $3,350. However, the new version is very similar to the vintage Bottega Veneta Hobo bag. And you can find that for $500 to $700 pre-loved. Now, what's the difference, you may ask? Um, the new version has a big knot on it, like the Jody. So the big version has this on the shoulder. If you wear it this way, you can't even see the knot. So. <laughs> I will be buying this bag pre-loved. There's so many colors. I saw an orange one. My good sis, uh, Chanel Butler, Chanel Files. If you don't follow her, Chanel Files, I'll put her name on the screen. Um, she just got it. I can't even remember the color she got, but when I saw it on her, it just reconfirmed that I need it for fall. Big bag over like a cool coat for <laughs> five to $700 is what I'm talking about because the leather is the leather. Their leather is amazing, it's supple. It, that's what ha got me hooked on those bags is that the quality is 10 out of 10. However, they don't hold their value. There is no reason in my mind <laughs> that you should buy that full price. 
I can't think of one. Unless you just wanna be the it girl that has the new shit and that's, that's the only reason. That's the only reason that you would get the brand new one because it has a knot on it because you're gonna get the same style and the same effect with the vintage version. So, save your coins. Go vintage, go pre-loved. The last bag and then we'll get into why I shop where I shop and my thoughts about other pre-loved sites. Um, and I have a little Chanel chat as well. <laughs> so we'll get into that next. But um, the last bag is the Prada Galleria bag. I will put up a picture because I don't have it. Um, and I'm not considering getting this bag, but this is a steal on the pre-loved market. So this is basically a reissue from Prada that's kind of like, <laughs> they're like to hell with making new designs. We're just gonna bring out all the old shit and it's working because we're buying it. Um, so the pre-loved Prada Galleria, which is again, it looks like the exact same bag, style, shape, type of leather. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Um, it's $500 to $1,000 pre-loved. The full price um, from the store right now, if you go and buy it, is $2,300 to $3,200, depending on the style. And again, type of leather and material and all that jazz. Five, like you can get, and I saw several for $500, $600, $650 all different colors do not buy this bag full price <laughs> if you like it it's super classic um like some people would say this bag went out of style but if you needed like a nice structured bag if you have a more like um sophisticated um style um or more like i don't want, I want to say like refined or ladylike or girly style um or you need a work bag this is a great bag for that like if i still worked at target and i needed like a, a office work bag i would buy this bag um and you can get it for $500 in an array of colors, shades, sizes. Do not buy this bag, whole price. Okay, now that we're done <laughs> with that, um, I wanted to talk about where I shop pre-loved. So, here's my general rule of thumb. I won't shop anywhere that doesn't take returns. And I am very put off by places that just don't have an enjoyable online shopping experience. And what I mean by that is like, you know, there's not bright pictures and photos and several photos so I can see everything and a good rating process to judge, for them to tell me what's good, what's bad, how they rate the bag, a good description of where the bag came from, the year of the bag. All of that is like the shopping experience. Just because it's pre-loved, this is still a luxury bag. It's still a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars. I don't want to feel like I'm buying, you know, I don't know, something off Amazon. Like I'm not spending 25 bucks. So I want, all the details, I want all the information, I want clear, crisp, bright photos, that all matters to me. So that's why I shop where I shop. I found that Fashion File just does it the best. I trust their rating system. Again, I'm not sponsored by them, but I have I have tried shopping at a ton of places, especially when I first got into handbags. And their rating system was the best. If something is excellent, it's practically brand new. If something is um, very good, it's practically excellent. Um, they have just so much detail in like the photos. They show you every nook and cranny, every, especially if there's like an issue with the bag, there's a scratch or something. They show you close ups, multiple <laughs> angles of like what that issue is so you won't be surprised and you get to return it. There, I've returned several things that like once I got it, I'm like, well, even if it looked exactly like how I thought it was gonna look, maybe I just don't like the, how the drop length or how it fits or how it looks on me or it's just not what I thought it was gonna be. So that's why I shop where I shop. I have bought, again, bags from Rebag. I didn't have an issue with them, so um, I, I could recommend them as well. They just don't have as much of a selection. So I just specifically went there and typed in Fendi Peekaboo and I found that bag and I bought it. Um, but anytime I go looking for something, they just don't have a huge selection to me, but they do have sales a lot. So I would always check there when you're looking for something and then check other places because they do, I wanna say like every month, they have like a 10% off or 15% off weekend. Follow them on Instagram and you kind of like know about them. Cause anytime they have those, I'll just go in the search bar and see if they have what I've been having my eye on. But typically they don't, but I, I definitely recommend them. Um, the Real Real, I get asked about the Real Real a lot. I do shop on the Real Real, but mainly for clothes, mainly for like, you guys saw when I went to Chicago, I went in the store and I got like a Balenciaga shirt and like a cool dress. Um, I bought sunglasses from there before. I bought one bag from there. I can actually show it to you. And this was probably like one of my like second or third times buying pre-loved. I bought this Fendi um, baguette. 
super pretty um, from there a long, long, long time ago, like probably five or six years ago. Um, I don't love how they describe things. I don't love the details that they give. I didn't know this was a mini bag until I opened the package. Um, it's just not enough information for me. They say they don't take returns. Like if you go under any handbag, it'll say final sale. And I've heard people say like, oh, if you have an issue, like you can return it. You just have to like email them or something. Like I don't want to jump through hoops to like return something that I just bought. Like, no. So I don't typically, I don't really buy handbags there. Um, yeah, this is the last, this was the one and only one. So that's just my take on that. Maybe it'll change in the future. I do love the store experience and I would probably buy in store. Like if I went to a boutique, like if they had a store local to me, I would buy bags out of the store because I would be pretty sure about it. Like I don't really buy stuff in store and then return it because I can try it on, I can wear it around, I can think about it, I can see what fits, all that. It's more of like the online stuff. You just never know. And I don't wanna be stuck with something or I don't wanna to have to have a hassle of returning it. Um, What else? And there's also like a lot of small boutiques. So of course, these are just the ones that I've used and I can recommend. There's a store in St. Louis that every time I go back there, I always shop, it's called the Luxury Vault Resale. I always shop there, they do have online. They don't have a huge selection though. It's literally just like a local store. They like go purge people's closets. They sell stuff, but you can find gems there. I found this bag there um, on one of my visits and my LV cans bag I got from there. So I recommend them as well. It's a family um, business and they've been doing it forever. Like they, their mom started it, I just trust that they're legit. Um, so those are my those are my places I shop and why I hope that's helpful. Again, if you have any questions about a place or any like tips, leave them below for other people that might come to this video and want some ideas of where to shop. I know a lot of people say Fashion File tends to like be higher than other places. And I do try to look around a little bit, but also for me, I'm paying for the peace of mind. So it is what it is. Um, what else? Lastly, <laughs> Chanel. A lot of people ask about whether or not you should buy Chanel in the store, brand new or pre-loved. Um, I used to only buy Chanel pre-loved. One, that was what I could afford. Um, but two, it just made so much more sense. However, with the recent price increases in the store, which have translated to pre-loved, it really depends on the item. And you need to do your research. All the prices for Chanel items are all online now do your research to look through it. A great example. Um, this bag I bought in store, the Chanel 19, you can see it. Um, I bought in store last year, or when it first came out, I can't remember. Corona got me all messed up. Um, and I wanna say this was, this was $4,800. That's one of the cheapest bags in the actual boutique. Like there's no, and this is a large, size just FYI um, the price increase just happened um, and this is this is the same size same style just a different color and I just bought this and it was 5200 so again still not crazy right but that's this style the Chanel 19 to get perspective of why I used to only buy pre-loved this was 3000 at that boutique I was talking about in St. Louis this this was 1700 from Fashion File. Mind you, this was a few years ago. My black classic flap was 1400. Um, my red classic flap was, let me look, we don't need to guess here. This little um, Paris Chanel, 1500 from Fashion File. I just wanna throw out the prices so you can get a gauge of like, how much more cost effective it was a few years ago. The red, $24.50 for that. If you go in a store, now obviously that's vintage. Um, this is not vintage and that pink is not vintage. And none of these were over $3,000, $3,100. I got the website up. Um, a classic flap medium, so exactly like that pink one, this pink one, is $7,800. Mind you, I paid $3,000 for that and this is the most expensive flap that I've ever bought. 7,800 <laughs> and in turn on the pre-love market, if we go over to Fashion File, the first Chanel flap that pops up is a red one and it's $6,200, $6,200. They have an orange one 
for $9,000. They have an iridescent pink for 10,000. They have another iridescent for 8,700. They have multiple pink bags for 9,000. Let's go to, I say all this to say, who the hell knows? But for me, <laughs> I am only buying bags from the boutique that are either seasonal or new enough that the price to me, for my pockets, is still reasonable. So a good example is this, one of my favorite bags. This is a mini flap, the blue inside, iridescent hardware, iridescent, yeah, hardware. Um, this was 3,800 from the store. And when I bought this the same exact day, they also had it in the medium size. And the lady was like, oh, of course she was trying to sell me the medium. And she's like, do you just wanna try the medium on? And I was like, oh, I really like this one, but she brought it out anyway. Um, and I tried it on and I was like, oh yeah, I mean, of course I like mediums, I, I have a few. Um, and I was like, well, how much is this one? The medium. And I guess that was before the price increase. And I, so I wanna say it was 6,800 at the time. And this was 3,400. Ma'am, why would I do that? <laughs> why would I? Why would I? Why would I do that? And I was like, No, we're gonna stick. We're gonna. I'm gonna stick beside it. I'm gonna stick beside him, and I'm gonna go with this one because that makes absolutely no sense for like this much more room in a bag to pay three thousand more dollars. Um, so for me, and this is technically a seasonal bag. So for me, I'm only buying seasonal bags or like nineteens or some version of that that is new enough. Classics, I'm, 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 I probably never buy another classic. And it really sucks if you're starting your collection now and you, you that's your favorite bag and you really want one. I say save up and get the one and the color you really like because it's just, let me see, let's sort by least expensive and let's just see what's on the pre-loved market. We're gonna definitely have to go vintage. However, there are like, um, they have a Diana bag, which is really pretty. It's very similar, just has a few little differences from the classic. That's 2,700. But I've seen these before for like 1,400. So that's like, the price increase has affected everything. Um, a bag that looks very much like my black Chanel bag, which is super old and vintage, and like you can tell she's old, is $3,200. And this thing looks worn. Like mine looks worn. <laughs> Mine looks worn. I won't ever give her up. But she, like, when you see her, you can tell this is a vintage bag. This was $1,400, and now it's $3,000. Um, I'm trying to see if there's, like, what's the cheapest that looks somewhat new. There's a black one that looks a little nicer than that one that's 37 now. And then it, there, it's four and up. All right, guys, that is everything. I hope this video was helpful. I felt like that was a lot of rambling and a lot of talking, but I hope... If you're in the market, if you're thinking about it, if you wanna get into it, if you are a pro, but maybe you buy mostly from the boutique and you wanna venture into pre-love, I hope this video was helpful. Now that we're at the end, <laughs> um, I wanna do my giveaway. So I talked about this in the Chicago vlog. We hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Yay! Um, and of course, that's all thanks to you guys. So I wanted to do a giveaway. Three prizes, because I feel like at least three people can win out of 100,000. Um, so I have three prizes. The first prize is a YSL card holder. I'll pop up a picture because it's in the other room. I actually bought it in Chicago, like right when we hit 100,000 subscribers. Um, when I bought those shoes, the black shoes from YSL, I bought a card holder. I'm basically doing this giveaway of things that are my favorite because I thought that'd be cool. Um, so I have a YSL card holder. I've had it for years. I absolutely love it. It is the most durable card holder you can have that's like luxury designer. So I have a black one and it has the gold YSL. It's so cute. Um, so that is one of the prizes. The other prize is a sleeper dress. That's what I was thinking. So um, you guys know the sleeper dresses I always wear and you guys are like, can you give us a dupe? Can you give us another option? Like that's crazy money. Um, that is the second prize. So a sleeper dress, I'll just order, obviously whoever wins, um, I'll just order it for you and ship it to you so you can tell me your size and all that when we do that. Um, and basically how it works is whoever I pick first can pick the prize they want and then whoever I pick second can pick between what's left and the last person gets the last prize. And then the last prize is a Skims robe. Um, me and Akita wore the robes on one of the Good Girlfriends chat and I absolutely love them. I think it's like so 
just like elegant and the quality is amazing. I love it. So all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, of course, and leave a comment in the comment section letting me know your dream handbag. That's it, super easy, right? So I think that's everything. Oh my God, I feel like I've been talking forever. This video is gonna be hell to edit. Um, but I hope this was helpful. Let's chat in the comments below. Thank you so much for stopping by. See ya. Mm -hmm.